well, now that I spent the entire morning getting here, I'm stranded. <clears throat> we'll see if we can get this bad boy going. Oh my gosh. What a mess. Give me a minute. I plan for this because I know how well this thing's been maintained. So I got one of these little guys, right? Huh? Okay, hook this up, see if it works. I better check my jump starter too, because I had to use it half a dozen times. Oh, that sounds better. Fires right up with that. Back in business, let's get out of here. changed we don't have nearly as much as the angular ones now we got uh, those are bench gravels I wonder if they came where they came from maybe I should take a sample right here we're starting to get where I want to be I think <laughs> I'm not sure I dare turn this sucker off. Boy, that was a good patch of river rock back there. I'm going to see some smaller ones here. But this is the stuff I want to look for. Not necessarily in the road. Yeah, this is the type of stuff I want. Alright. Well, I'm going to risk it and turn this guy off and take a sample here well it's kind of interesting here because as soon as I get around the curve all of the river rock most of it just vanishes and you can see it starts up about here but we still got some giant boulders here got a little river rock up here on the bench which means that I'm hoping they didn't just plow this from somewhere let me see if there's if we can find a better sign here. Oh yeah. Now I'm starting to see more up on the bench here. Oh, yeah. That's a good sign right there. We've got river rock clear up there. So it's quite possible this is where I'm looking for. I got a couple buckets. I can take a couple samples. I got some Ziploc bags. I can take some smaller samples. So I think I'll do that first before it gets too hot. And then uh, I'll bust out the metal detector and run it along here. Should do it the other way around, but I really don't have faith in the metal detector beyond finding bullets. So we'll just start with the bucket. So the first sample, I'm just coming right off of the bend here, right on the inside. And I got a scoop. I got my trusty hand shovel. And then I got my swinging shovel, which is stuck. I got my swinging shovel, my stupid classifier bucket, and a regular bucket. me some material here. I'm sure y'all want to watch this. This is the fun part. Dig down a little bit. Now it's starting to look a little more like pay dirt. Yeah, that's the type of stuff I want. Right there. That looks really good. I hope it looks better when I pan it down. I wish I could do something about these dirt clods. I don't have any water to wash it up here though. Figure as much time as I spent just getting here. Want to get as much of a sample as I can. Who needs a gym? Ew. 
Boy, this ground is just hard packed as can be. I mean, take a long time to fill a bucket that way. So, we're going to try a different approach. little better. That's a rock. There we go. Oh, wash that sucker off. Well, obviously this is Gonna take some more time. That's not a river rock. Well, maybe I'm wasting my time. Oh well. Won't be the first time. Won't be the last. <coughs> yeah, y'all. Okay. That'll get me closer to where I want to be. So it kind of looks like I got a little clay layer here. clay and with the dirt that lighter yellow tan that lighter tan color that's a layer of clay right there that could be a good sign now almost got a full sample already so we'll grab some of this too and dig into that a little bit and then I better call this hole good because there's a clay there Yep, more clay right there. So we got a clay layer coming right through here. And boy, this is all hard packed. It's been a long time since there's been water here. So let me finish my sample and get on with it because otherwise I'm not even going to get to metal detecting. I'm going to get to sleeping. Got my hole filled in, so it's on to the next one. All right, all right. So as I was coming along the turn right here, now keep in mind, inside bends are always good for gold. As I was coming along the turn, I noticed these river rocks I saw before, but doesn't that look like a gravel bar? Could just be from somebody scraping the road. But I think that right there, right at this man, right here, that'll be where I take the second sample. First one, normally I label these, I'm just gonna go one, two, three, and record the video, keep it in mind. But boy, I ended up leaving a lot of big rocks in there because they're just so dirty and it's sticky. My thought is a lot of gold's going to be sticking on those rocks and if I toss them, well then I don't have what I'm looking for. Well, close enough. Not quite a bucket full, but that'll have to do. There's sample one. Boy, this doesn't look nearly as promising as the last area. It's the last sample. This just looks like a bunch of dirt. Guess it could be pay dirt. I guess that's why we sample. So I'll load that up. Well, at least the rocks are a lot easier to clean out of this hole. I guess the good news is that's all gravels. Those were in a stream or in water at one point in time. Dirt clod. What they're doing up here 
I'm hoping this is where the old river ran through, or the old river channel where it used to run through, because, I mean, <laughs> there ain't nothing but a whole lot of sun and heat up here. There ain't no water to be found. So, nothing else. I got a shot at having the right spot. And I'm done for now. I can take a break. Rehydrate and bust out the metal detector. Figure if there's a chance of finding a gold nugget up here, this is about as good a spot as any. Oh.